My name is Karen Chabria. I am the director of Jumbo Electronics and an avid watch fan and watch lover and watch collector for a few years now. My late father had a passion for watches. Since I'm the youngest of three, I always felt the pressure of perhaps being the boy he never had. So I followed in his footsteps and used to look at his watch collection. And um, yeah, I think I wanted to be a part of things that he loved. He used to wear his watch on his uh, right hand, which is something I copied as well. So yeah, I think my love for watches definitely is inherited from him. My favorite watch in my collection is one that I actually don't have with me because it was um, a Patek, a beautiful ellipse that I had inherited from my late father, which was a part of my collection. And unfortunately, a few years ago, I had left my entire watch collection, save for a few pieces that were my daily drivers. I had given it to my mother for safekeeping her house <laughs> caught on fire. She lost all her belongings and I think 24 of my watches, my entire watch collection went up in smoke. But right now, I absolutely love my Rolex Rainbow Daytona. It is a very special piece and that probably is my favorite. I absolutely love the new independents. I think they're doing some amazing things. I actually have a Joker by Constantin Shaken as part of my collection. I have the Chronometre Bleu by F. P. Journe. That's another beautiful piece that I was very lucky to acquire a few years ago. I actually even like you know smaller brands that are doing amazing things just for a couple of hundred dollars. So I absolutely do watch the independents and um, I'm very interested with the pieces that they're coming out with. I don't know if the watch industry is not doing enough for female collectors or if the female collectors really just favor um, a look of a watch more than knowing about the complications and stuff like that. The pieces that you see in the men's collection are just so much more sophisticated and so much more um, focused on the detailing of watchmaking. Whereas in women's pieces, they're just, you know, ordinary quartz watches that come with diamonds and have a crazy price um, based on the look of the watch rather than the actual skill behind making it. 80% of my watch collection, if not more, are men's timepieces for that very reason. The most versatile watch I own would actually be a regular steel and gold Rolex that I have as a traveling watch. Otherwise, I actually have two that I'm carrying right now that are the more different uh, timepieces. This is my favorite piece of my white collection, which is um, a vintage Rolex. It's a vintage steel Rolex with uh, diamonds around it with a custom bracelet by the jewelry designer Lori Rotkin. And then of course, my uh, rose gold rainbow, which fits into my gold collection.